your your average car produce something like 4 to 12 kilograms uh, per day of carbon dioxide but in comparison to clear rainforest to produce cow flesh or beef for one hamburger produce something like 75 kilograms of carbon dioxide keep in mind according to the FDO and according to which kind of study you use methane the gas created by cow farts is 25 at all 100 times as toxic for the for the also layer as CO2 and for the environment according to a study of the what watch institute um, animal agriculture is responsible for 51% of all the forms of transportation put that in comparison with the 40% of all transportation sector like cars, like airplanes, like boats you see that if organizations who want to protect our planet have to better focus on animal agriculture instead of coal centrals and alternative energy also 65% of all the nitrogen oxide emissions when greenhouse gas even more potent to the environment as methane and actually is um, 295 times as toxic for the environment as CO2 because of the oxide, carbon dioxide is produced also by animal agriculture because of their farts methane also stay in the upper sphere for something like 400 uh, something 1500 years or hit uh, go again now uh, disappear so that's a time span that it affects our environment if we completely stop all use of gas oil fluids electricity etc and never will use them again we will still exceed our carbon uh, equipping a greenhouse gas emissions of uh, of a 565 um, gigaton of a yeah, gigaton by the year 2014 with just with the impact of the livestock sectors alone. So, if you ask me, uh, why wasn't one environmental protection agency? I know where I focus on. I know where I focus on. I shall not to be a phony, claiming to care about global warming, but not to focusing on the main problem of warming of the climate and species extinction. Well, free living animals made up, you know, 10,000 years ago, made up 99% of the biomass. And human beings, we only made up 1% of the biomass. Today, only 10,000 years later, which is really just a fraction of time, we human beings and the animals that we own as property make up 98% of the biomass. And wild, free living animals make up only 2%. Also, for people that don't know that, any day one area with the size of New York City 240,000 
acres of rainforest is cut for mainly because of animal husbandry or slavery. If anybody stop consuming animal products, we can stop deforestation because there is far enough food for anybody. We have to use a standard American diet. We can up from 60 to 20 times I feed more people on the same kind of land. On a vegan diet than on a meat, dairy and egg diet. You don't have to be a genius to figure out this conclusion. I have also some studies in the description below. If you like to check them out. If you are skeptic. If you care about the environment. If you are caring about species extinction. What in the past was just about some 20 species a year. But which are current terrorist uh, industries, the fishing industry, how take up to a one two point eight trillion fish in a year from the sea, how cost destruction of species barriers and uh, this corruption of the sea web system you know people seems to go to the big fish first and then kill them and they are actually destroy the whole ecosystem of the earth and of the sea that's not one as declaration it's just a fact and the seas are being uh, polluted and being destroyed because of long liners and all their commercial fishing gear they take and they're not along only uh, the fish that I catch but the majority of fish come with an extremely amount of package with general estimates of um, uh, one or five I catch fire. A one kilo uh, fish that I want to have up to oh, five kilo of bycatch, but just general estimate for a majority of the fish. Some fish are actually even higher with shrimp, for example, fish one kilo for fish a want to fish and twenty of bycatch. And bycatch can be anything. From turtles to small whales to dolphins and sharks and wherefore. Because uh, people want to eat something that come out of the sea. Maybe you think you want to get omelets. Use flesh. Not all fish have omelets. And they are all only get it from the plants. If you want to get omelets, red sauce for omega is flax seeds oil or flax seeds also walnuts also have uh, omegas um, some so, some kind of seaweed but let the animals alone and it don't matter that sharks eat fish there's just an arbitrary excuse don't be in a douchebag on top of that, sharks are not like us. We have not the same biology as sharks. Sharks need that to survive. We don't need animal products to survive. I am a clear example of that. I am more 14 years vegan now. The most healthiest version of myself I was ever I was 12 or something when I was. When I have, uh, first figured this stuff out. So, if you care about the environment, if you care about uh, sharks and whales and dolphins are being killed in commercial fishing gear, 
weapons of mass destruction. I'll go over the ground of the seas and take anything wrong along with him. If you care about the health of the earth, go vegan. Animal agriculture is not only evil to the animals it abuse, just like the fishing industry. It is just also evil to the environment. And also to children who die from starvation because we give 50% of all our food to livestock. Low conservative estimate. 50% of all the plant food can easily stop world hunger if we use our mind instead that we use our greed, gluttony, pride, blind proud and arrogance. Stop being such Suma Insania When darkness and light become home, the reality split in a way and the truth become visible. 